Okay, let's take a look at this. Uh, we'll go over gold here. Um, Gerald's got the recorder on here. Remember, we do these videos. You go to uh, daytradingthefutures.com. Any type of videos that you want to replay over the weekends or at your leisure, we uh, provide those for you guys and gals. It's a nice little setup uh, that we got rolling here in gold. This is called Confluence. Remember, we have uh, the big chart is market profile. Market profile shows the most important two market profiles that we have on here are volume and developing. The price not as important as important as the volume. The volume is this big blue thick line, the big red thick line, and the big green thick line. That's actually volume coming in the market. And this will dictate the roadmap for our trading for the day as far as market profile is concerned. Now, the blue line is the most volume that's been traded in that instrument for the session after midnight. So that's showing you that that is the most volume that's been traded in gold here today. How can we use that? We only want to use the blue line, the control point, which is the most volume that's traded. We only want to use that for continuation trades with trend. In flat range markets, when the market's flat, we do not want to trade off of it. We only want to trade with trends. So you can see that we're slightly biased down this morning. Slower moving average. I mean, the smaller MA is crossed down through the larger MA. So that is a bias down. So you're allowed to sell that retest of the control point with negative market delta. When negative market delta comes in, so you're allowed to sell that up here. So at 8.20 this morning, I'm sorry, at the 88 level, sorry, this morning, we had a negative market delta just after 8 o'clock this morning for negative market delta to get short the market. So you can see that's your negative market delta, negative 45 right here to get short the market, showing a negative order imbalance at a key control point retest. But what we had is what happens a lot is your arrows, the arrows show full retracements. They will fire off when they're retesting this volume or the developing profile, developing being the thin red or blue or green line. If that happens, you have confluence. And I'm going to show this in the PDF. I'm going to get out to you guys and gals. A lot of, a lot, a lot, a lot of trades you're going to see to have confluence. Beside market profile, I have these arrow based retracements. These are full retracements. Now, I have two time frames. I have a 5 sim. You can see 5 sim going 30 days back. And I have what's called a 3 sim, a shorter time frame, going 30 days back. If I skinny that down, you can see my 5 and 3 sim fired at the same time. When I was on the mic earlier, where it said, look for gold to possibly have an M top. The 5 fired when the 3 was trying to do an M top right here. So that gave you a confluence that we're looking for a continuation short on gold. Now, the market's not really moving uh, really fast here this morning. We've been in really a small range in both markets. But I want you to look at this setup because this setup is something where you need to understand when these two time frames agree, it happens all the time on the S&P 500. You see a lot of it during the S&P. see a lot of it during crude with a matchup. These are going to be your best trades when the 5 and 3 sim match up. And if you get, if you get the market profile that even matches up even with it, then you got total confluence. And that's what we try to do. We, we try to first find the trend. Are we trend or are we chop? If we're trend, we know to sell retracements. If we're trending down, I'm sorry, we want to sell retracements. Trending up, we want to buy retracements. If we're flat, we want to sell the high, buy the low. So if you look on the arrows, the arrows, we're not really concerned about them in a flat market. But we really want to pay attention to them when we are trending. And it, we are slightly trending down, so that's a full retracement. And you can see the difference between, if I, if I bring crude over here this morning next to it, you see the difference in just by looking at the moving averages. Moving averages are great for trend direction, not for support and resistance or crossovers. But trend direction, look at crude how flat we are on the 3 sim. Where look at the the the... the this, the distance between both MAs on the 5 sim and the 3 sim. You can tell the distance here between them. They actually get separation between them. 
That is called spread. And when you have spread like that, you have good deep retracement trading. When you don't have spread like that, you can see we're really sideways on crude. We finally broke down on crude. Now finally could possibly get a retracement up here to it for continuation. But this is what you want to look for. This is ideal. It almost looks like a little seagull. We call it a shark bite trade where the smaller MA gets out of alignment with the bigger MA. You can see it's going vertical on us. Looks like a little seagull with the two MAs. That's a great retracement opportunity. So when you retrace back up and hit the control point, that's a really hot level to trade. The temperature should be pretty hot on that because of the spread. The temperature of the market's really cold here on crude this morning. Look how flat we are. So you can gauge the temperature of the market just by looking at the spread of the MAs and the angle. And that's 50% of the direction of the market. And then we can use market profile and the arrows, arrows for entry and with market delta below it to confirm the order imbalance.